Hey guys, welcome back to the Acne Channel, Pretty Progress 3, aka Elizabeth here. Um, today's video is about how I let acne control my life to the point where I felt really insecure even in my own relationship. So let's start with like all the details. Um, my skin used to look like this. Um, when I first met my boyfriend, it never was full of cystic acne. I actually had pretty clear skin when I first met my boyfriend. And for some reason, a month in, my just, well, I, not for some reason, probably because of my poor gut health and it, my gut couldn't take any more from the antibiotics and all the things that I was doing to my body. Um, but basically, a month in of my relationship, I started getting pimples all over my face. It was throbbing, it was red and cystic and painful. Well, it didn't just explode into pimples, it was kind of like a gradual process. As it continued to get worse and worse, um, my personality was depleting, I didn't have the love that I had for life anymore. I just I just felt really, really down about myself and about how I looked. Um, even though my boyfriend reassured me of how beautiful I am and, and um, how I actually really enjoyed my time with him, I was just really so insecure that I didn't want to burden him with how I looked. I didn't want to walk outside and go makeup free because I was just not confident enough. So I was sitting in my room, literally it's like the curtains are dark and and I'm just crying to myself and I'm just like, look, maybe I should just break up with him. Maybe it's, this is the easier route that I can take where I don't have to worry about what I wear or worry about whether I should put makeup on when I go out because I'm not gonna go out anyway. I'm just gonna stay in my room and not do anything because um, I just feel so ashamed of my skin and that was my mentality. Like, I felt so miserable and I can't believe I let acne take the life away from me. And I know that it's really, really difficult and you guys, whoever's watching this, maybe feel like really upset about their skin as well, but I want to remind you, like, just keep pushing through. Right now, I'm in my relationship, happy as ever. It is. It's three years and a few months now and honestly in the first year of dating my boyfriend I wanted to break up with him so many times and that's such a bad thing on my part but I had serious insecurity problems acne can be either your fault because I don't know you pick your skin or you eat dairy and you know it's bad for you or maybe it's not your fault maybe because it's hormonal or maybe because it's genetics maybe because the air is really humid and you can't do anything about it but that's okay even if it is your fault or not your fault, you still need to take responsibility. And the only way you can change how you feel about yourself is not just by getting clear skin. That's not like the destination, the, the idea of achieving perfection. That's not gonna make you happy. Because whether you like it or not, sometimes your skin is not gonna be perfect and you just have to, you just have to really focus on other things and shift your mindset to focus on positive things and things that you that you can change. You know? I feel like when I had clear skin, I was still insecure about my weight. I was still insecure about my chest pimples. I was still insecure about all the different things in my life. And I had to take a step back and, and say to myself, look, these are all superficial external things. Like I can shift my thoughts into a place where I can measure my beauty such as my intelligence, where I come up with amazing ideas for the students that I teach. I'm a teacher, by the way. Or I am, I come up with lame jokes and people laugh at it, and that's part of me, a part of who I am. Um, I like to salsa dance, I like to, I don't know, um, spend time with my mom and I'm patient with her, or something like that. Like, there's so many different parts of, of you that make you you. It's not just your skin. You don't have to have clear skin to be beautiful. Harking back to my main topic about why I almost broke up with my boyfriend and how if you're in the position that I was back then, this is what you need to do in order to overcome that. You need to take a step back and remind yourself that you are worthy and you are amazing no matter what your skin looks like. It comes down to loud affirmations because to be honest, sometimes it takes self affirmations and self reminders in order to realize who you are as a person. Trust me, it's not an overnight thing. Like I didn't feel confident with my acne and scars. Like I still have pimples now. I'm gonna show you. Like they're only mild, but this used to tick me off. This used to make me feel like so horrible about myself. But you will come to that point where you're like, I am beautiful. I'm rocking my scars. They look like scars. Scars or stars? Hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Like some people 
take my confidence as arrogance or some people take my like you can never please somebody you know when I feel sad about my acne people think oh my god she's you know seeking for attention or she's such a self pity -er. is that even a word <laughs> um, and you just can't please everybody but you can please yourself sometimes you think you're this worthless hopeless person because of acne but it's no you're not only you can change your understanding of yourself. Yeah, I just want to remind you, like, there are so many times where I, I tried to break up with my boyfriend, but in the end, I spoke to him about it. I communicated my thoughts and my emotions, and he really understood me. And he really loves me for who I am, with or without makeup, with or without acne. And I think, like, it took me a while to realize don't cut your relationship short because of your own insecurity. You deserve to have connections and you deserve to be loved and that's not just to be loved by other people but love yourself there are some things that I do when I freak out about my skin like when I'm so stressed and I feel so horrible about my skin I take really long breaths so I breathe in hold it for seven seconds and then I breathe out that actually slows down your heartbeat and your anxiety and because the more you stress, the more like your cortisone levels increase and then you start to get like really excessive sebum and you break out. I love facial massages. So here with me is I have my Gua Sha. Now this is from Zidoa. You can get it from online and this is a rose quartz one. There's also Jade Rollers one, but I love the Zidoa one. And basically you would use your favorite serums or whatever you like, or you don't even need serums. And this part is my favorite section. So this tool is like, you're like, what the heck? It's just a rock, but it's amazing. Okay. And then I go in with like that. So I scrape it along my jawline and I'm pretty much increasing that blood circulation within my skin. And I'm also de-stressing. It de-puffs your face and it massages your skin. Anywhere where you have tension, you just scrape it along like this. Now scrape sounds pretty intense, but it's actually a very gentle motion. And then I go like that. And you can have your serums too. Be careful on overactive pimples because you don't want to pop on your skin. You know what I mean? So, yeah. It's amazing. And that's why my skin looks contoured. <laughs> okay, no, it doesn't look contoured. But it, it, I look more alive. After my skincare routine, I would just spray with the Banished Beauty Elixir. And it's so hydrating because you want to hydrate your skin whenever you really stress. It feels amazing and it smells amazing. Vitamin C, guys. If you're obsessed like me, make sure you order two instead of one because they, they, it finishes pretty quickly because I'm obsessed. We have the stress and anxiety spray from Carousels, if I pronounce it right. You spray it into your mouth and you let it seep in and it takes like a few minutes for you to kind of calm your anxiety down. But yes, um... That's all for today and I hope this video was somewhat enjoyable or whatever and I hope it helps you. I'm sending you all my love and light. Bye!